sterlingharris.org. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sterling Harris, and welcome to Sterling Harris Ministries, where today we're going to be talking about how to do an unforgiveness purge and how to walk in daily forgiveness for yourself, for God, and for others. First, before we get into actually how to do the unforgiveness purge, we're going to talk about some misconceptions about what forgiveness is and isn't and what holding unforgiveness is and is not. And so we'll start with what forgiveness really is. Forgiveness is not about saying what a person did to you was right. It's about, you know what, maybe they did hurt me. Maybe they did what they did was evil. It was wrong. But forgiveness is not about them and saying what they did was right. Forgiveness is about you forgiving, releasing your free will, your free moral agent, your will over to God, casting that care over upon Him because He cares for you, and forgiving that person by an act of your will and act of your faith so you can be free. It's about you being free. So forgiving others is about you being free. And it's also about you taking your power back that unforgiveness causes and robs you of. It robs you of power. It robs you of blessings. It robs you of peace. And so that's what really forgiveness is about. Forgiveness is about you. Forgiveness is about the person. The only, the only person that unforgiveness hurts is the person holding it, right? <laughs> so that's what really forgiveness is about. It's about you forgiving as an act of your will between you and God and releasing that over to Him and walking in love, obedience, humility, and man, walking in joy because it's going to free you up. So it's really about freedom and you taking your power back. Now let's talk about what unforgiveness is or isn't. A lot of people say, well, I'm not holding any unforgiveness for that person, or you know what, I dealt with that. Everybody's heard that or said that at one point in their life, right? So let's say unforgiveness doesn't have to be a hatred or you don't have to reach a certain level. Unforgiveness can be as simple as somebody irritated you, you saw a situation frustrated you, maybe you got offended by something or someone. It's so easy for us to get offended. You can get offended four or five times just driving into, driving into traffic. You can, forget, you can forget four or five people, right? And so it's so easy to hold offense. And so don't qualify unforgiveness as something that has to be this kind of big ordeal or this big hatred. It can be something as simple as you got frustrated or irritated about something. How many times you get frustrated or irritated with your spouse or with your child or with a coworker? I mean, come on, it happens every day. So that's really what unforgiveness is. It's any kind of irritation, frustration, any kind of touchiness, fretfulness, resentfulness, hidden resentments. So now that we've kind of defined what unforgiveness is and isn't, and also what forgiveness is and isn't, let's move on to the actual unforgiveness purge. And so what an unforgiveness purge is, it's, it's basically you saying to the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, bring to my mind who I need to forgive. And then sometimes the Holy Spirit, when I do this, He'll play a videotape in my mind about a situation I need to forgive or a person I need to forgive. Um, maybe He'll bring the person's name to my mind. Maybe I'll just see like maybe a picture of that person or of that situation. So there's a lot of times, or a lot of times, God will bring Himself in a situation that, that I was kind of got offended at what He was doing or what I felt like He wasn't doing. Have you ever been like, you know, God, I wish you would have done this, or God, why didn't you bless me in this, or you know, there, there's so many times that, that I've got frustrated at God, and God's brought that to my mind, and I'll be arguing with him, like, God, I didn't really get frustrated with you, and he's like, Sterling, you did. <laughs> so forgive, or let that go. So I know I probably don't need to say this, but I do need to say it, because we all do it. When the Holy Spirit brings somebody to your mind, don't argue with God. <laughs> I know it's like something that's, okay, this is obvious, but I mean, how many times have we all of us argued with God, right? So there's three people that God always brings in my mind during this unforgiveness purge. Myself, because no one can beat us up like we beat us up, right? No one can condemn us like we condemn us. And so God often brings situations in my mind that I need to forgive myself for, that I held some kind of frustration for myself. Like I felt like I fell short. So I like, Lord, I forgive by faith. I forgive myself. And, and then he'll also bring my earthly father up. Me and my dad had a volatile 
situation happened and also kind of a volatile uh, upbringing in my childhood. So there's often times that God will, will have me realize that I'm still holding this irritation and frustration for, for his and I's relationship. So I'll forgive. Lord, by faith, I forgive my dad in Jesus' name. And I, Lord, I release that resentment of that irritation, that frustration. I release that to you. And then the third person is God. He always brings himself to my mind because I'm always holding like resentments or frustration or irritation about what I feel like something God either should have done or shouldn't have done or should allow, shouldn't allow. There's, it's so easy to get frustrated with God. Like, have you ever said this? God, why didn't you bless me like that? Or God, when are you going to bless me like that? Or when's going to be my time? Or why do these things always happen to me? We've all said those things, right? You can go on Facebook and, and do that all day. People, you'll be looking at somebody's Facebook. Why do they have the perfect life? Look, nobody has the perfect life, so everybody, nobody's immune to the fire and the trials of life, so just let that go. But God, I'm bringing that to my mind, so by faith, Lord, I forgive you, Lord, and I, and I just release that frustration over to you. In Jesus' name, I release my will over to you, Lord, and I forgive you. So there's no magic prayer. There's no magic way to do it. That's just the way I do it. I, I ask the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, bring my mind who I need to forgive. And then whatever situation, whatever person, including God, that comes to my mind, I let go and forgive. Because God said in His Word, 1 Peter 5, 7 says, Cast all your anxieties, all your cares, all your fears, all your concerns upon God because He cares for you. And we know that when we do that, God forgives us and cleanses us from all unrighteousness. It says in 1 John 1, 9, that we confess our sins. God is faithful and He's just. Forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So even while we're doing this, even kind of the hidden sins of the heart, God brings those to our minds and our hearts and we forgive. And even the stuff that maybe we didn't talk about, it says He cleanses us from all unrighteousness. You know what, you know what it means in Greek? The Greek word for all means. That's what the New Testament is written in as a Greek. It means all. It means every. <laughs> so He cleanses us from all unrighteousness. So I just want to encourage you to walk in this love and forgiveness. And remember, also remember this. Forgiveness is a process. It is not a one-time event. Let me say that again. Forgiveness is a process, not a one-time event. So if you've forgiven somebody before and you tell God, well, you know what, God, I forgave that person. I dealt with that. God is bringing it to your heart so you can forgive. Like I've said, I've forgiven myself and God and my, and my earthly father thousands of times. So it's walking in this perpetual state of forgiveness that will give you this peace and this joy. Because how many of us know if you forgive somebody for something one day, five, ten minutes, or you know, maybe a day later, the enemy will bring like this to your mind like a, like a tape on repeat about what that person did to you or about that situation. And then what happens? You get a little frustrated in your spirit. And that's unforgiveness. So God wants you to release that as well. So we just want to encourage you to walk in this perpetual state of forgiveness. And it's a training. It's a lifestyle. It's a practice. And Jesus said in Mark eleven twenty five, 25, he says, when you're praying, if you have anything against anyone, forgive. So anytime you're praying, this would be a good time to ask God towards the end of your prayer, the first of your prayer, Lord, Holy Spirit, bring my heart who I need to forgive. And then as he brings those situations to your heart, those people to your heart, forgive by faith and just say, you know, Lord, by faith, I forgive this person. Name the person. Name the emotion that you had, whether it's frustration or irritation or hate or whatever the case may be. Name that. And then, and then, Lord, I release that to you by faith. And so what are you doing? You're giving your will over to God's will, and you're doing that by faith. And forgiveness is, like I said, it's a process. So as you do this, as you walk in this, you will see God's radiating love. You will see it infect and affect your life and other people's lives around you. And we just want to bless you with this at Sterling Harris Ministries. It has been such a blessing to my life and other people's lives that put this into play. And we just want, our, well, we want you to remind you that, you know what? We love you. God bless you. And remember, the choice is yours. And you've got to put your faith in action. Remember that. You've got to do the casting. You've got to do the releasing. You've got to do the forgiving. God will help you. God honors that. And He grades on persistence and not perfection. So he sees your best move. He sees your effort. For this and other inspired teaching and preaching, we want to encourage you to visit us at sterlingharris.org. God bless you. Remember, the choice is yours. We love you. <laughs> Thank you. <ya. laughs>